Adam, the gardener, the handyman, the Mr. Fixer, uh, the maintenance man, he's going to really disappoint God. He just didn't do what God wanted him to do. And so God's very disappointed with Adam as he's gone from now from the garden and he goes off into oblivion because from that point on, um, Adam doesn't do anything in relation to God. From that point on, all Adam does is produce children. Isn't that sad? That all you can do, all that's left to be done is produce children. Now we love children, don't we? Yeah. But it doesn't take much for a bloke to produce a child. Really? You don't agree with that? <laughs> it, I think I think the ladies have got, <laughs> haven't got the best best part in the deal. <laughs> so so when when God has to deal with his disappointment, and he says, "I, I want to find and work with another man who's going to be different from Adam. I want to find a man." That's going to create with me. And they won't disappoint me in the end. And he chooses Abraham. And Abraham is a man who is like God. A man who sees things that don't exist. We read it. A man who is prepared to go to a place he's never been to. Uh, he doesn't know. Uh, you see, it's unsettling, isn't it, to go somewhere where you don't know. I mean, if you turn up at a railway station and go to the ticket office and you say, I'll have a, a one-way ticket, please, and the ticket officer says, uh, so where are you going? He said, I don't know. <laughs> but just give me a one-way ticket. <laughs> you see, there's a problem there somehow. But this is what God is asking Abraham to do, to call into being something that doesn't exist for him, and, uh, and so he leaves a city that's been built by men to discover a city that is built by God. Whew. Now this is really important. I can't develop this tonight. But it's really important because it says that God will not dwell in a house made by human hands. Amen. So God will only dwell in a house that he has made. So Abraham's going to be a creator with God and he's got to leave a city that man has created to go to a city that God builds. And not only does he build it, he's the architect. You know, it's a bit disappointing, the New King James Version, for they say the same thing when it's not the same thing. His maker and builder is God because it's whose architect and builder is God. Is that what your version says? Your designer. Your designer, well, the same diff. Okay. So, uh, he, uh, Hebrews tells us, and we read it, uh, that he saw the city from afar and welcomed it. He didn't even know where it was. He couldn't have imagined what he was seeing, but he could see it. And he was welcoming it. He was looking forward to it. He was visualizing it already. It was there. You see, uh, this great nation that he could see or this city that he could see in the distance that he was welcoming already he was going to be the father of 